This is an updated settings guide for Delta Force as the game's fully released now and the settings guide I made a few months ago is outdated. So we'll start with settings of course, this is what everyone wants to see. It hasn't really changed much in some of uh, these pages. I still, pay, I still play with scope magnification adapts automatically on on. This basically prevents your field of view changing when you're aiming and uh, I personally think this makes your aiming feel much nicer. My mouse sensitivity again has not changed, I still play on 1.75, 1600 dpi. My monitor distance coefficient is set to 1.78. Uh, this is the recommended coefficient for 27 inch 1440p monitors. Uh, for my settings, you know, a lot's not really changed from the playtest. I still play with mostly everything on toggle, even my aim is set to toggle. A lot of the settings are default. I have my inspect set to, you know, the front side button, mouse 5, so that I can inspect weapons easier so just when you have a knife it's just you know like counter strike you can just press a button to inspect it over and over again i have switch optic and zoom set to mouse 4 so this just makes it easier to change magnification i don't have to like you know stretch my thumb out and press n <laughs> to change magnification i think it's a really weird key bind but yeah uh whole breath is also set to toggle screen interaction i don't touch this this is all default vehicles is all default Again, I don't really use the vehicles in this game, so I, there's no reason for me to touch any of this. Screen settings, I have show performance parameters. This is so I can see my FPS and ping. I do recommend you have this setting on because there's a ongoing issue in the game right now that is, you know, involves the skill-based matchmaking slash MMR system that the devs blatantly have in the game, but they keep denying it, but it's in the game. Uh, and there's a, there's a case that people have been getting where they're thrown into matches where they have 200 ping. Not sure why that's happening, but it's important to have this on so that you can see if that's happening. Uh, everything else is mostly default, but I do have rotating perspective on. This is so that my minimap turns with my camera. So it's just easy for me. Personally, I find it easier to use when this is on. Uh, for graphic settings, a lot of this has changed from my last video. I've actually got a custom, a, you know, really customized graphic settings for uh, two purposes. I want my game to look really good, but still have good performance, and that's kind of what I've achieved with these settings. I linked a video in the description by a guy called Game Guides. I followed his video for these settings. He explains every setting in detail. He does a comparison, shows you uh, what each setting looks like. And he also recommends what to have on high and what to have on low, etc, etc. Display mode, I set to borderless windowed. This is just so I can tab out of the game faster. Uh, there's really not much of a difference between uh, borderless windowed and full screen. Uh, my frame rate cap is set to unlimited. I think I had it capped to 240 in the playtest. Because uh, for some reason in the playtest, if I had my frame rate uncapped and I was getting 300 frames and I was recording, I have quite demanding recording settings and when I was getting that much FPS uh, some of my footage looked really bad so I capped it but I haven't really experienced that in the release of the game so I have it set to unlimited now. Sharpness I leave on default, I think 50 is the default, I'm not sure on that but it's, it's set to 50 there. Uh, V-Sync off, my field of view is 120, uh, again this is preference I just think the game feels nicer to play on on a higher, higher field of view. Uh, reflection set to low. This you know ruins your frame rate. Doesn't make doesn't doesn't really look much different between all these settings. So I have that on low. Texture filtering high. Ambient occlusion high. Uh, I have this on high because I think it looks nice. Uh, it does you know low your frame rate, but I I, I have the rig to compensate for it. Uh, particles set to low. Distortion set to low. Scene detail set to high. Scene view distance set to high, render scaling is 100%, depth of fields off, global illumination quality set to low, shaders high, textures ultra, streaming ultra, shadows low. So, shadows low, this apparently only affects your character's shadow. So, when you look at the floor and you can see your character's shadow, it only affects that shadow in the game so there's no reason for you to be looking at that and uh you know you, you can get an fps bump by setting it to low shadow map actually controls the shadows in the whole game so i have that set to high 
Uh, I don't really like low resolution shadows. You know, it just doesn't look nice. Post processing is set to low. Volumetric fog set to low. Uh, in Game Guy's videos, he did a comparison and he tested it in a building. I think it was on the map threshold. He was on. He was inside a building, and if you had it on high, it made the room look kind of foggy. Low removed the fog, and obviously, if you want to see people, have it on low. Animation quality set to high. Really not sure what animations they're talking about. Is it every animation in the game? If you want every animation to look like shit, go ahead and set it to low. I don't want that, so I set it to high. Uh, DL DLSS is set to off. Now, I have been experimenting with this. I have, in my latest video, I have been playing with it set to quality. Because I'm, you know, testing out the uh, custom INI file that completely disables TAA. I will leave that in the description, and I will show you how to um, do that uh, later in the video. But... When you have TAA disabled completely and you have your DLSS set to quality, it actually makes the super resolution mode look better when than when you have the TAA on. Um, I think it's kind of obvious why it looks better. It's because you're removing uh, a blur on top of a blur. That makes sense. So, yeah, you do get a nice frame rate bump for setting it to quality. And with the custom config, it makes it look better. So... Yeah, there, there is an argument to be made to have this off because input lag and such, but I really don't notice it, and I think my aim is fine with it on. Uh, but lately, I have had it off. Yep, that's pretty much it for my graphics settings. Um, if you want to know what each setting does, again, go watch the Game Guys video. He explains everything. But these are the best settings, in my opinion, for your game to look nice as well as perform at its best. Audio is set to 50% because this game is just super loud. Um, yeah, again, that's preference. Uh, this is set to headphones because I use headphones. HRTF I have set to on. Uh, I've been experimenting with this. Um, don't really notice the difference. I don't know if it impacts performance or not. Uh, I'm really not sure, but it's set to on uh, right now. Uh, I think most of you have come for the graphics settings. This is what I play on. Um, I, I will put my uh, my specs on the screen now. Uh, this is how I'm able to achieve the frame rate that I have now with these settings. So yeah, this is the kind of the performance I get with my graphic settings. Uh, obviously, if you copy my settings, it really depends on your rig. You're not going to get the same performance. I mean, unless you have the exact same rig and uh, com configuration that I have. Uh, pretty good shot from that guy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the game visually still looks really good. The performance is great. Um, I, I have DLSS on right now, so it does look a little bit blurry, but I'll show you what it looks like off. But if you look at it right now, obviously YouTube compression is not going to make it look like... You're not going to see what I'm seeing. Um, but overall, it still looks really good, even with the super resolution setting on. Um, but if I turn it off, you can see the game looks just way sharper, but I do get a slight uh, impact on my performance. As you can see, it's very jagged. Uh, there's no smoothing on the uh, edges of the objects at all. But it's just visibility wise, it just looks really good. You can see really well, there's no blurring whatsoever. You know, here it looks pretty good, you don't notice it. Um, if you if you want your game to look like this, just copy the, um, the config I have. I will actually show you how to do that now. Now, so what you need to do is go to your directory for your game. So you go Delta Force game, Delta Force again, saved, config, Windows client, and you want to look for this file here, engine, uh, it will, should be called engine.ini but I have the um, thingy off, there you go, file name extensions, there you go, engine.ini, and what you want to do is go right to the bottom and uh, paste this here, which will be in the description, you want to paste it below all this. Um, as you can see, it completely disables all the um, post-processing effects and so on. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. If you're curious how, how I have my weapon set up, so I have the scope mag magnification adapt setting on, and then I set my uh, calibration on my sight to minus 0.25x. This basically completely removes the uh, zoom effect on your gun when you aim in. And I have my eye relief set to the the, you know, the lowest setting because it makes the optic closer to your face. 
that's just how I prefer it. Go into the firing range and this is what it looks like. As you can see when I aim, there's no like zooming in whatsoever. As for my sidearm, I actually kind of want a little bit of zoom. This is just so that I can, you know, one tap people out of head glitches easier. And uh, yeah, that's like the only reason why I have a zoom on my pistol. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my settings. Uh, it's a bit of a rushed, <laughs> unstructured video, but you know, it, there wasn't really that much to go over, so I thought I'll try and do it in one take. Uh, what I try to achieve with my settings is that I want my game to look good, but still perform great. Um, and a lot of the settings I have set to low, you're really not going to notice it unless you really, really look. But as for the other settings, if you do have that on low, your game is going to look quite ugly. Um, yeah, the performance will be better, um, but if that's what you're going for, obviously set it to low. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.